Hey, Randall is launching an investigation into alleged voter fraud surrounding the Ward 2 Alderman special election. The police chief says two people are being investigated for allegedly trying to, quote, fix the election. Our Quentin Smith, he joins us live in the studio with the very latest. Hey, Quentin. Scott, Chief Randall says these two individuals are targeting elderly people. So far, the police department has collected more than a dozen absentee ballots, which are alleged to be false. Now his department is working to put a stop to this. When you come in to the police department and you complain that people are taking advantage of your loved ones, then that really gets my attention because that's actually what they're doing is taking advantage of somebody that's vulnerable. Aberdeen Police Chief Henry Randall says a tip came in from a family member of an elderly person. Apparently, an absentee ballot arrived in the mail, but the family says no one ever requested it. Once I started with that family member, uh, come to find out it was a whole lot of more of the same thing going on. So the chief immediately began investigating. Just within the last 24 hours of doing this, we've come across 20 absentee ballots that these people are vulnerable adults and the other half do not even live in Aberdeen. They have other addresses. And then we have some people that live in different areas, but they're still on the voter roll and some people know that, so they're taking advantage of that too. According to Randall, Two people are ordering absentee ballots, marking them for a specific candidate and even foraging signatures. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to go after the two people that we know for sure that has done this and we're trying to send a message to anyone else that's doing this. Let the candidates run a fair race. The police chief calls this voter fraud and suggests the city should change the way the absentee ballots are being sent out to prevent something like this from happening again. But Aberdeen election officials say, to their knowledge, all of the proper procedures are being followed. The Aberdeen City Clerk's Office has been in contact with the Secretary of State's office to make sure that we are following all the correct procedures for the upcoming election, and they said we are doing everything correctly. Randall says the two people under investigation could be charged with forgery, false pretense, and exploitation of a vulnerable adult. So far, no arrests have been made, but they are expected.